Um, we do have Joe that popped on um, to kind of let you guys know. I know we keep talking about the CPC app and how great that is and what we can do and some social media stuff. So Joe, if you want to take it away. Absolutely. So guys, if you haven't downloaded the Central Penn College app, you're going to want to hop on to one of the app stores. Um, if you have an iPhone, obviously the Google one. And if you have an Android, you'll hop onto the Microsoft store. Download that app. You can do so much with it. And then also, uh, you'll see me around campus once we're back. I'm the social media guy, so I'll be taking pictures and posting them on our Facebook, our Instagram, Twitter. We just launched a Twitch account, which tonight um, the gaming club will be streaming for the first time on Twitch, and uh, they'll have a Rocket League game. It's part of uh, Take a Closer Look here. But right now, if uh, you guys aren't using your phones for this, if you're on a PC, I want you to take out your phone and follow us on Twitter. It's at Central Pen. Instagram, it's at Central Pen as well. Uh, Facebook, facebook.com slash Central Pen. And then if you're on LinkedIn, you can also connect with us and say you're coming to school here, and that'll connect to your LinkedIn account. And uh, we have a couple challenges going on today. There's the new night challenge. Um, you can fill out that uh, on our Instagram story. And we're going to be giving out some prizes and uh, social media shout-outs throughout the day. So tag us at Central Pen in anything you post and uh, use the hashtag, hashtag Central Pen, and we'll share that, anything you guys post up. If you have any questions, you can also reach out through um, social media, and I can forward it along to anybody that, you know, can help you. So as we get back to normal, we get back to campus, um, you'll see me around, and uh, we'll take some pictures. We'll put you guys up there. We love to highlight our students. If there's ever anything cool going on that you guys are doing that maybe is outside the college, we would love to highlight that as well and give you a shout out. So always feel free to reach out. Uh, marketing department is located in Milano and you, our doors are always open so you guys can always pop in um, and see us. Hey Joe, you got your first question. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you see yourself making a Central Penn Facebook page for upcoming students to maybe start meeting people or finding roommates? Absolutely. So we have one. If you go to our, our, we have a Facebook group. So if you go to Central Penn um, on Facebook and scroll down a little bit, it'll say groups and uh, there's a Central Penn College students group. You can hop in there and that's the purpose is for all of our students to connect with each other, meet people in your major, you can look for roommates, um, whatever you want to use it for. It's there for you to connect with other students, former students and uh, future students. Does anybody else have any questions for Joe? Oh, school store. Do you, uh, can you talk about like CPC yep. and how we get that? Absolutely. So if you guys are looking to purchase some gear right now, you can go to centralpen.store and that is our online apparel store. So you can, what you can do on there is you can hop on and uh, we have tons of different um, merchandise that you can purchase, sweatshirts and lanyards and all that stuff, and you can kind of customize them on our store depending on uh, maybe you want a certain design and a certain color, things like that. But we do have pop-up stores on campus. Once we're back, we'll be having them. We have them a couple times a term, usually during big events that are going on, and we'll pop, we'll pop up um, at these events and we'll sell merchandise right there. And usually we have like exclusive items that are just for that day or, um, you know, limited edition things at those. Okay. But, um, but you can definitely order online now. Um, and then even when you're on campus, you can order and there's free delivery to campus while you're on campus. Okay. There's a couple more questions that popped in. Um, is there any other games y'all play besides Rocket League? Um, so I believe they compete in, um, I'm not a gamer, but I've been following along and it's very exciting. So um, they compete in Call of Duty. I know that. Um, they have a Rocket League team. They do 2K for basketball. And they also do uh, Rainbow Six, I want to Rainbow, say. Rainbow Six, Overwatch. And there's one more that's just slipping my mind. But yeah, there's... Opportunity also to, to join in. There's the, the eSports team and there's the uh, eGaming club. So anybody that's interested, you can um, contact them. There's a page on our website for them and let them know you're interested. They're always looking to add, add players. And we have a really cool gaming lab on campus that has virtual reality, 
um, capabilities, and it also has a vintage arcade um, simulator that like has all the old vintage games on it and stuff. Okay, they want to know: Do you are they just for the PC or Xbox or PS4? Um. So I, I don't know the exact answer to that, but I do know that we have a lab on campus with uh, gaming computers for the teams that use them. Um, I don't know about the different systems, but I do know that we have a, an actual gaming lab, um, and that's what they use for the team matches. It's, it's located in the ATEC building on campus. Okay. And there was one more. Um, do I have to do the Noah Knight challenge on Instagram or can I do it on Facebook as well? You do it on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Any of them work. Just tag us so we make sure we see it. Any other questions for Joe or Tom, Caitlin, Megan? <laughs> oh, can you hook up remotes to the PC? Um, I, I, I would have to get that, that answered for you. I, I'm not 100% sure on that question. Okay. And do clubs have Facebook pages that I can follow? Yes, certain clubs do. Their, um, their list, uh, our list of clubs is on, is on our website under the activities page. And certain clubs have pages, um, ones that choose to, to run them. Um, they're not required to have one, but um, the, the theater has – has a great presence on Facebook, and um, SGA has a great um, presence on Facebook and Twitter. The Nightly News Club is great. They're on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, um, LinkedIn. So every group, it's kind of up to them. Adrian, um, who is going to be hopping on uh, soon, our, our Dean of student engagement will um, be able to answer those questions for you a little bit more in detail. She would know right off the top of her head um, who has one and doesn't, but a lot of them do. And if they don't and you become a member and you want to take over that responsibility, you're more than welcome to, to start up a social media account. Okay. Well, with, uh, with, with approval from answer. marketing. Colleges Against Cancer has an active, some of them also chose to, instead of having pages, they have groups that they use for internal dialogue. Uh, I know Colleges Against Cancer has one of those. Um, and many of them are utilizing the new Central Penn app because that allows, has a feature in there that allows the clubs to communicate with each other. Hi, everybody, by the way. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, guys. I'm gonna pass it off. And uh, like I said, marketing store is always open. So feel free to stop in and connect with us. And if you're ever doing anything that you think is neat, fun, interesting, let us know. We'd love to highlight you for it. Thanks, guys. Um, and Adrian and Casey just joined us, and they are going to play some fun games with you, some trivia, some bingo. Um, and if you guys have any questions for them as they're doing their thing, they'll pop up in the chat. And ladies, I will um, kind of feed you the questions as we go along, so. So first of all, I have to say, I am seeing a lot of dark boxes here. Mm -hmm. I am not seeing any of your awesome faces. And I wanna, I wanna see you guys, can you, can you, there's Rayleigh, there's Michelle. Yeah, get those, let me see those videos. Get those videos on, I wanna see you guys. Casey and I wanna to get to know you better so we know who we're talking to. Yes, there's Alexa, there's Anthony. Do you go by Anthony or Tony? Anthony, I think I heard your, okay. I'm reading your lips because I, I know you're muted. Here they all come, good job, Adrian. Oh, yes, this is so much better. This is way better. See, you are stuck with me and Casey for the next hour, and we're going we're gonna to have fun and give out prizes. Does that sound okay? Adrian's prizes are the best. You guys will love them. Well, yeah. Well, actually, there, Derek hooked us up with some sweet prizes to, like, the school store and to Amazon. So we're really excited to have you guys. Um, so Casey, I think, is going to get us set up and share her screen. So we are all set up to play. I think we decided to play triv some trivia first. Yeah, so I'm going to introduce myself real quick. Hi, everybody. 
My name is Casey Hicks. I'm the athletic director at, at Central Penn. Um, we're going to play some CPC trivia right now. I think it's highly encouraged to um, open up the Central Penn website, kind of navigate through there. That's where you'll find a lot of these answers. But we try to keep it as easy and as fun as possible. Like Adrian said, winners um, get gift cards. So um, try your best. Get creative with your answers. It's multiple choice, so nothing hard. Um, I don't know how many of you have done Kahoot, but I'm going to share my screen here in a minute and we're going to play through Kahoot. So if you're on a computer and you, and you have your cell phone, it might be easiest to log in to Kahoot through a cell phone or a separate screen if you have the ability to do that. Um, and then we will go through. It's 10, 20 quick questions. Top three winners are, are going to get a prize. So everybody ready? Oh, I'm, I'm excited for this. And look, I see Michelle. My sister's here. Michelle, hello. Oh, it's good to see you again. Her big sister was um, one of our SGA officers. All right, can you see my screen okay? I got, I got some yeses in the chat. Okay. Oh, I'm excited to play Kahoot! So you're going to get your phone you're gonna, or your browser, go to www.kahoot.it, and it's going to ask you to type in that game pin. Lisa, you might have to help us. I'm not sure how many were actually, like, what the total number is that we're looking to get signed up. Sorry, Adrian. I didn't realize I was muted. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's um, about 31 in there right now. Okay, so we've got like half of them right now. And if anybody has any tech issues, put it in the chat. We'll talk you through it. Dijon, are you good to go? Yeah, Haley? Oh, we have a couple Haley's on here, I think. All right, we do have some people with screens off, so I'm guessing maybe they are not, maybe they're not here right at the moment. Yeah. We can log in and out, so I'm not sure if everybody's on. Well, I think we have 16 solid players. Sounds good to me. Ready to get started? Oh, 18, maybe give it another minute. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to write the pin down just in case. I guess I can't join mid-game anyway. Yeah. And I'll put it, I'll put it in the chat window as well. Oh, come on. We're shooting for 20. <laughs> Two more. We lost one. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, yes. I think so. Oops, I just sent that to Kelly Fox by accident. All right, what do you think? Should we give it a go? All right. What was the year that Central Penn College was founded? 1970. Oh 
your brains. I see what you're thinking. <laughs> you have 30 seconds to answer each question. That's quick. I'll go right. split half and half. We've been around for a while, since 1881. And our original home was in downtown Harrisburg. They still have the original door. When you come to campus, you can see the original green door of the original building that Central Penn was in. All right, next question. What is the mascot of Central Penn College? Mike. There we go, look at that. Everybody got it. Central Penn College Knights, that's right. Our mascot right, come here. is Sir Will. And you'll see him around Mr. campus. Pitt. Um, cute little guy. Anthony Franks is in the lead. Okay, what town is Central Penn College located in? Summerdale, not to be, not to forget about our Lancaster Center. We do have a Lancaster Center uh, that has evening classes. But Summerdale is our main campus, very close to Enola. Anthony Franks, you're killing it. Just killing it. They're not too far behind. It goes no. on speed too. I don't know if you guys know that. So if, if Anthony's answering the question just a little bit faster than Michelle, that's why he has more more points. So the faster you answer, the better. Just make sure it's right. Next one. Choose any one of the six core values of Central Penn. We have six core values. You just have to pick one of them. Because we have some people that just entered, so just keeping you in the loop. Okay. I'm checking now to make sure they can still hop on the game. Yep, they can. Okay, and for this one, you could have picked two of the four answers, integrity and inclusivity. We also have scholarship, excellence, professionalism, and community service. Those are our six core values at Central Penn. Next up, who is the current president of Central Pine College? There's a picture of her, but what is her name? Is it Dr. Phil? <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't get, let us pick the answers. Oh, the large majority got that one. It is Dr. Linda Fredrizi Williams. And we were happy to wel welcome her as our president just a few years ago. Um, an amazing leader. Oh, Michelle D is in the lead. Look at this. We're having a little movement on the scoreboard. It's been changing. It's pretty close. Next question is, high school graduates from seven surrounding counties qualify for the regional scholarship. How much is awarded for this scholarship? Casey, is it $1 million? Wish. One day. <laughs> <laughs> $3,000 is awarded for the regional scholarship. And I did want to mention the seven counties real quick because if you fall in it, definitely look into this scholarship opportunity. It's Adams, Dauphin, Cumberland, 
Perry, Lancaster, Lebanon, and York. So if you live in any of those counties, make sure you guys are looking into our scholarships. It's on our website. I think it's uh, Lisa Kelly, correct me if I'm wrong. It's just centralpenn.edu backslash scholarships. You guys can go there, check out the whole list and get all that free money that you can. Student Success and Advising Center provides students with all of the following opportunities except which one? Hmm. This is tough. I feel like if you would go see Dan, he would help you with this though, even if it's not one of the official. I think they would, or I would be happy to help as well. Yes. <laughs> Don't ask me. I do not know. Casey, our athletic director, she is the one who's got the sports knowledge. Woo, look at that. Solid 20 there for the win. Good work, guys. Well, you talk, you are, and you guys heard from them earlier today, right? You already talked to people from the advising center? Yeah. Who did you guys get to meet? Do you remember their names? Tell me in the chat. I'm guessing Caitlin maybe and Dan. All right, I'm gonna move on to the next one. Check a fun fact that applies to Professor Paul Miller. You can find him real quick on our website if you're on the computer. Some fun facts about Paul Miller. There are multiple correct answers on this one, so you can pick any one of them. And there you go, we got, a, we got a good, decent amount correct. So any of those were correct, except for his favorite sport is soccer. That was incorrect. And Paul Miller, you guys will probably get to know him a little bit more. He's a professor in our communications program. Um, he teaches public relations, um, the evolution of social media, a lot of fun classes like that in our communications program. So I'm sure a lot of you will, will get to meet him when you're on campus and, and in those classes. He also does the Nightly News Media Club, which is a, a really fun club on campus. They do some sports broadcasting at some of the athletic events and uh, put out some nice podcasts and, and newsletters as well. So another fun thing to get involved with with Professor Paul Miller. Still pretty close. Holding on strong, holding on. All right, check a fun fact that applies to Professor Talani Adebanjo, PhD. What do we think about Talani? I like this fun little game show music that we're listening to. He received a PhD in neuroscience and grew up in Nigeria and moved to the United States to attend college. Uh, he's a professor of health sciences. You may have him for courses like biology, chemistry, microbiology, and genetics. Uh, and one thing that I love about Central Penn is that, you know, the teachers, the faculty members that we're sharing with you, uh, you actually have a really good opportunity to get to know all of your faculty members uh, and they get to know you. It's nice when you can walk into a classroom and your teacher knows your name and knows you not just as your student ID, but as a person as, you know, knows you as a little more deeply than that, which I think is pretty cool. All right, next one. Check a fun fact that applies to faculty member Taylor Lentz. Taylor's a part of our PTA program at Central Penn. All right, 
And Taylor is actually a graduate from Central Penn, which is really cool. She graduated from our PTA program, and now she's back teaching in our physical therapy assistant program, which is really nice. And she also served as an athletic trainer. So lots of fun background for her. Um, if you are in the PTA program or looking to um, come to Central Penn for PTA, you'll definitely have her in classes. She teaches uh, human development and, and a lot of other PTA specific courses under the physical therapy assistant program. Four players just hit answer streak number four. That's awesome. All right, fun fact about Professor Karen Hurst. Let's see a fun fact about Professor Hurst. Ooh, does she rock climb? Does she write math curriculum for adventure based schools? Does she participate in horror sports, or is she afraid of heights? At some point, you'll be lucky to have her in class, most likely for your math courses. And now you'll already have a topic of conversation to get started with. Let's see what we say. Oh, you guys are so good. She is not afraid of heights, but she has done a lot of really cool things. <laughs> She's our department chair of math and technology. She'll teach courses like algebra, statistics, calculus. Uh, so when you get those math classes, you'll most likely have her at some point. Um, but yeah, I, she's awesome. I'm sure you'll enjoy getting to know her in your classes as well. Okay. I think we have one more faculty spotlight question here. So your last one on faculty. It's going to be check a fun fact that applies to Professor Jared Rice. Oh, I want to know. I don't think I know the answer to this one. <laughs> All right. Good mix of answers there. Jared, unfortunately, is a huge fan of Boston area sports teams. <laughs> I'll forgive him for that one. Um, and has also published articles on religious folklore and children's games, which is pretty cool. So a lot of you will end up um, in classes with, with Professor Jared uh, Reif. He teaches CPC Foundations, which is a class you would take when you first come in as a freshman here at Central Penn. Um, He's a professor under our humanities um, and general education program. So he also teaches things like U.S. history, um, comparative religion, race and gender, and some other fun um, humanities courses as well. Hi, All right, here Madison. we go. In the stretch. What intercollegiate sport, sports does a college currently offer? Who are my athletes in the house? By the way, let us know in the chat about that. Yeah. Who your athletes are. I'd love to know that. I love this picture, by the way. It's one of my faves. This is from Club Wars. Yeah. Oh, they hit it. They did really well. Yeah, we have baseball, basketball, soccer. And Casey, do you want to like, I feel like you should make this awesome announcement about our new sport. Yeah. So uh, this coming fall, summer, we are also starting women's volleyball, which is really exciting. So women's volleyball will be added to, to our sports here. So if you have interest in that, definitely let us know. It's a new team up and coming, and we're hoping to hit the ground running with that. Oh, we got some excitement on the chat there. Michelle's is nice. Um, Rayleigh's a basketball player. She's been playing for five years, so. There we go. Wonderful, yeah. And um, for all the athletes, we do have the coaches popping on. I think right after this, we'll have a couple of the coaches here for a Q&A, and, and I'll stick around to answer some questions and get to know the athletes a little bit better. So hang tight with us after, the, after these fun games. We've got another 30 minutes or so to connect with athletics, so stick around. Yeah, Haley, volleyball, Ian. Baseball and eSports. Uh, we got a question about softball. Uh, we want softball. Yeah. We're working on it. We're working on it. I want softball too. So 
one step at a time. Let's get volleyball up and running, and I hear you guys about softball, I promise. Higher. Oh, this is me. Sorry. What division I had a question while that question is. Um, I'll A United States Athletic Association. And again, if more questions on this, the cop in on next. So we'll get more detail on this in a couple minutes. Check any club the Central Pen currently offers. Oh, these are good options. And while, while the timer is going down, I'm going to give my little plug. Uh, you definitely should get involved in student life. Uh, whether you come to activities or join a club, it is such a great way to build your leadership skills, to make new friends, to, you know, like have fun while you're here too, because that's really important. Uh, you all are correct. Those are all active clubs on campus. We have about 19 active clubs, and we also have a process to create one. Uh, if you have an interest that isn't represented, uh, but lots of great things happen in these clubs, lots of community service, um, fun activities and events. Our clubs do a lot of like teaming up. They just did a really cool kind of collaboration where they had a casino night that they work together on. Uh, so they have a lot of fun and I definitely encourage you to check it out. You don't even, I would even encourage you to check out clubs that maybe you don't think you're interested in because you might find, you're not gonna be like, we're not gonna make you join for, for life. Um, but go and check it out. You might actually find an interest that you didn't know you had. We do not have a bowling club yet, although we do take uh, like bowling tree. I just saw that on the chat. Um, we do have like trips that we take where we take you to the bowling alley and do some stuff like that. So more of a fun activity, not as a structured uh, club or team. Um, and to join, I would recommend you do. Check out the student can actually become like become a member right there on the app. And if you ever have questions, you're always welcome to reach out to me and I can put you in touch with who the, who the advisor is. Okay, moving on, next question. Who is the theater director of the Capitol Blue Cross Theater at Central College? The two of us are on this call, on this, this room right now, so. That should, that should help eliminate no, two. No, I don't. Jan Bixler is the director at Central Penn. They, they put on a lot of great production shows. Adrian um, is oftentimes in them or helping to produce them. So if you have interest in theater, um, definitely get involved. They have a drama club that you can start out with as well. Um, but they do some student creative plays too, which is really cool. So you guys can help with the production of plays on campus. And I know Janet would love to hear from you guys. So um, if you have interest, you can definitely contact her directly or I believe they have a spot on our, on our website. We got to shout out Madison to be some of the uh, sessions that they've done. Oh, new question. 2018, the learning. What's the number?
Oh, look at that. Wow. Big ad. That's 680. Good. Now, Casey, I have a question. Is the learning center only for people that like are struggling in their classes? No, anybody is welcome to go get help in the learning center. So even if you just need a quiet place to get some work done, want to get away from the hustle and flow in the library or in the suites when you're living on campus, um, or just have some extra work to get done. If you're a commuter back and forth, you can go to the Learning Center anytime. It's not just for students who are struggling or need the extra help. Good question, Adrian. Thank you. Casey, there's a question that popped in here. Where does the soccer, the women's soccer team play? Um, the women's soccer team plays at Adams Ricky Park. So again, that's only about a mile or two away from campus. We do use all off-campus facilities, but we, we play really close to the, to the school. Good questions. That is, it is, it's a beautiful park. I walk there all the time. Michelle, I see your message, yeah. Uh, how many bedrooms and bathrooms are in the college's newly renovated super suites? Newly renovated, they are actually really nice. I would live there and I probably wouldn't go back and live where I lived in college for so these are nice the super suites are really nice I do agree they definitely are nicer than where yeah. I loved my apartment when I was in college but it did not it was not no these are these are these are a different level they're nice uh seven and four yeah you guys got it right so there's seven bedrooms in each super suite with four bathrooms which is also nice you don't have that big community bathroom that everybody has to go to it's one student you get your own room um, and then you only share a bathroom with one other student so definitely um get your own own space your own area that's probably why i would live there not my old my old college dorm Oh my gosh, and I love so many college memories about the roommates and the, you know, like that's always fun getting to have good times. Time. I was an only child, so when I had a roommate, I was so excited for it. <laughs> Actually be able to have somebody, and here we, they have their own rooms, they just have housemates, so you guys are going to love it. Check something that is included in the super sweet common area. So you get your private rooms, but there is a space that y'all can uh, be able to get to know your, your housemates. What's in there? things are in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is nice. There's a mini fridge, a microwave. Um, I'll tell you what, I feel like our students now have mastered the art of gourmet cooking in the microwave. There's some good stuff that comes out of there. <laughs> and then mini fridge, you can keep stuff, TV stand, coffee table, uh, large sofa, armchair, dining table. So you guys can actually like have shared meals in your suite, which is nice. The living room is basically all ready for you, the common area. You just need to bring yourself in your own room. LD, oh, getting quite a lead. I think we got one question left. So that third place, second, third place, that's really close. This last question is going to be the, the breaker here. Let's see. The Leadership Library is named for its benefactor, Charles T. Jones. What does the T stand for? I know the answer. This is a tough one. I did not know this one before. The only answer because I know so that helped now and down. Ooh. Uh -huh. I, um, the T in Charles T. Burry stands for this, and I don't know if you have any, but. I know, yeah. everybody's like, I wasn't expecting that. 
Heck no, I, but that's what it is. Um, Charlie Tremendous Jones and Tremendous Tracy is his daughter, who's also an author in the area. I would have been with everybody who answered Thomas. I would have guessed Thomas as well, so. I'm vibing I'm with all of my little, my little creepers here to say hello as well. <laughs> all right, let's see who the winners are. Check it out. Lilith was in third. Alexa in second. Michelle D. Congratulations, you all going to get a prize. We're going to go ahead and got those. Part of the store. Here it was. Okay. Shake your heads. Yep. Yep. Okay. Good. Oh, Charlie was the author and editor of many books, including Life is Tremendous, of which more than two million copies have been printed in twelve languages. Wow. That's awesome. Thank you, Joe. I, I love this chat because like fun tidbits of information just keep popping in. That's pretty cool. Are you guys ready to play some bingo? Yeah. Okay. So here's what I need to do. You, 